A Kansas City man accused of shooting a black teenager after he accidentally went to the wrong home to pick up his brothers, surrendered to police, and then posted bond. Andrew Lester is facing two felony charges for using his 32 revolver to shoot the 16-year-old. CBS 2's Adriana Diaz has the latest. Ralph Yarl's classmates marched in solidarity and support. Ralph's mother, Cleo Nagby, says her son is recovering from being shot in the head and arm. Mostly he just sits there and stares and the buckets of tears just rolls down his eyes. You can see that he's just replaying the situation over and over again. Andrew Lester faces two felony counts, armed criminal action and first degree assault. According to the criminal complaint, the 84 year old told police he had just laid down in bed when he heard the doorbell. He picked up his gun and said he saw a black male approximately six feet tall at the door, telling detectives he was, quote, scared to death due to the male size and Lester's old age. The complaint says Lester repeatedly expressed concern for the victim. Ralph's family says as he was trying to get help, someone yelled at him to get on his knees and raise his hands. And all we hear is a bunch of banging at our door. In his first television interview, Zach Dovo, who lives across the street, says he and his mother went to help. There was blood from the where he was at, all the way up, all over the door. Dovell says he is still replaying that night in his head. You hear about these things on the news over time, and then when it really happens to you, it, it's a life changer. Adriana Diaz, CBS News, Kansas City, Missouri. The house Jarl went to was on Northeast 115th Street. The house where his brothers actually were was Northwest 115th Terrace, just one block down.